So you just got your beautiful new armor Atraxis, you throw the body on, take it out for its first run, comes back in, and the body looks like this. All crumpled up, cracked, holes are enlarged, body is basically trashed. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your body last at least five times as long, and it's not as hard as you think it might be. The way we're gonna do that is we are going to reinforce the inside of the body. It's gonna make it thicker, stronger, and overall work much, much better for bashing. Now, there are a bunch of different ways that you can reinforce your bodies, and I've tried pretty much all of them. You got your flex seal here, then you've got your truck bed liners. Next up the line, I would say, is Gorilla Tape. None of these things, in my opinion, holds a candle to drywall tape and shoe goo. This is regular drywall tape. This is Fiba Tape cement board tape, and it is far superior, not only does it have a much stickier backing, but it's also more flexible for going around corners and going into those corners and staying in those corners. This fiber tape, cement board tape is the superior product to this regular drywall tape. Now to go along with that, we're gonna get rid of this shoe goo and we're gonna replace it with a big old tube of E6000. This is much easier to apply, it's cheaper, and in my experience works just as well as the Shugu does. Before I show you the accessories to go along with this, make sure you get subscribed if you like these kind of videos because we got a lot more of them coming up. Now to go along with this stuff and to make your experience as easy as possible, you're gonna want a hot glue gun, those scissors. Of course, you're gonna need a caulk gun for this caulk tube of adhesive, and you're definitely gonna want at least one pair of disposable gloves. You really don't wanna do this application with your bare hands because it's gonna get on your hands and it stays. Now I'm gonna show you the best way to apply it and then we're actually gonna test the job out. And to test it out, I've got this $99 Jegs Torch Monster Truck. This thing is a little cute 110 scale solid axle monster truck that I haven't had a chance to run yet. And before I run it, I wanna reinforce this body because this body is thin and it is going to get destroyed very quickly. So let's get this body off and show you how to reinforce it. Very first thing you wanna do is take your body and clean the inside of it. You can do this with soap and water, whatever you have. Now, if your body is really dirty from already being used, you wanna clean it a little more thoroughly. This one's brand new, so I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down with alcohol. And now we're gonna start applying the tape. I just grab the end. I start on one end, overlapping the end of it just a little bit like that push down into the corners. Very easy, very straightforward. Work your way to the end and cut it off. All you have to do after that is just keep laying down strips. Don't worry about cutting these ends perfectly. I like to go back and trim them off after everything's glued and dried. Now, once you get into little corners like this, things get a little bit more complicated. What I like to do in these areas is not only do I run a shorter piece, but I also split that piece down the middle. So for like this area right here, I'm just gonna cut this piece down the middle. Small pieces work just as well as the larger pieces do. It's all gonna get adhered together with the adhesives. Basically, it's just a matter of continuing on like that until you have all the body covered or whatever amount of the body cover that you feel comfortable covering. If you just wanna do areas that are gonna be most prone to getting damaged, go for it. You can take your hot glue gun and just put a little bead of that hot glue right down there in the corner. And that will keep that corner from popping back out while you're doing the rest of the drywall tape. Let me get this finished up and we'll do the glue. All right, so I've got my E6000 in the caulk gun and this is really straightforward. All we're gonna do is just squirt some into the body and then take our finger with the other hand and spread it out. You wanna spread it relatively thin. You don't wanna get a huge, thick amount of the E6000 there because not only will it take forever to dry, but you're also gonna run into issues where it's gonna be really heavy and just doesn't really provide that much more strength. So make sure you do this outside because this stuff stinks and then let this thing dry outside overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and get this finished up, let it dry, and then we are gonna bash and crash this and see how it holds up. All right, got this thing all reinforced, let it dry overnight. And as you can see, this body is a lot stiffer than it was before. This back end, while still flexible, has a lot more strength to it, and this body is gonna be way stronger than it was originally. But don't take my word for it. Let's go bash this thing and see if we can break it.
All right, well, that little truck didn't quite have the power to torture this body like I wanted to, but I think stomping on it a few times definitely showed how durable this body is. If this body had not been reinforced, it definitely would have cracked when I was stepping on it. As you can see, there is essentially no sign of damage whatsoever. Now, if that's not proof enough for you, I've had this granite body for dozens of packs and a lot of torture. It is tape and glue reinforced and it is held up also incredibly well. Okay, so this is the best way. I hear you though, you don't wanna go through all this work. What's the second best way that's much, much easier? I would say your second best bet is going to be Gorilla Tape. This Gorilla Tape works reasonably well. It is a lot easier to apply. You can just apply it and go and you don't have to deal with the smell and mess. But if you want the strongest, you want Fiber Tape, Cement Board Tape, and E6000. Now, if you want the best next video to watch, check this one out.